How are you doing, McKenna? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. We got to talk about that song. We really do. I, first of all, I want to know the video of it is 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 so entertaining because it, it, you you have my it's it's like attract reattract attract reattract. You put so much love on that lens that we and we laugh and giggle and get emotional with you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I shot that in my bedroom because, you know, my my team wanted a music video for this song, but I was two weeks out of a spine surgery, so I was still figuring out how to get around and walk up and down my stairs and whatnot, and so one day I woke up and I was like, you know what, instead of spending the day sitting in this chair uh, watching movies and recovering i am going to shoot a music video and i'm going to edit it myself and i'm going to put it together and i'm going to send it to my label and i did (laughs) see that you need to put that on your on your resume now because doesn't that make you now a communication specialist now that you can do videos you can write music you're an actor i mean you can walk into a home depot now and say i want to be the person in charge of your of of your advertising (laughs) i'm an editor now (laughs) i'm an editor and a director and a writer i'm gonna I'm going to keep on expanding into all of these little areas and ex- and explore all of these little creative things. <laughs> but but doesn't that open the door for you in a way that now when you, when you see when you're on the set of 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 Handmaid's Tale, I mean doesn't that when you look at those people behind those cameras it's like I know what you're up to. Okay, who's going into editing mm-hmm. next? It gives you an open view now. I guess a little bit. I think that I think that that is definitely a lot different than me just on my little editing software for free on my computer (laughs) for like 12 hours. But um, I mean, I write and I co-direct all of my music videos. Um, This one was just a little different because I did it all myself. And I was like, out of spine surgery, I probably like was editing the music video on my pain meds because like my spine hurts. So hopefully it's not too wonky. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> don't you don't you love the creative energy that constantly moves through you in the way that you didn't let the spine surgery knock you down where some people would sit there and you know and say I'm I'm done until I get fixed here but you you just you kept moving you answered that creative call I think it's all in for me getting better after spine surgery was completely mind frame because oh my gosh and the first two weeks, I was like, I hate this. This was the worst decision I've ever made. I should have never had this surgery. I regret it. Like I would not wish this recovery upon my worst enemy. And then eventually I started feeling a little bit better and then a little bit more better. And now I'm a month out and I'm like, wow, that was the best decision I've ever made to have that surgery. But at the time I was like, oh my God, I should have never done this. I regret it. This is horrible. But now I'm like, wow, that was the best decision I ever made. And so I I think that it's totally about mind frame getting through that type of recovery. Listeners need to understand that that this is a surgery for scoliosis. They used to do scoliosis tests when I was in school. Do they even do that anymore? Because it is a serious situation. I think that they do, but I'm homeschooled. So I didn't have like those types of tests. I've never gone to regular school, but my dad is an orthopedic surgeon by chance. And whenever he would hug me, like whenever I was younger, whenever I was 12, he'd like hug me and then he'd like feel my spine. And I'd be like, ew, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Don't do that. (laughs) Because it like felt all weird on my spine. But um, like my dad would eventually like examine my spine and do like the scoliosis check for me. And he'd be like, oh, yep, that's you. You have scoliosis. And I was like, what? Yep, yep, yep. So when you write a song like this, the self dysmorphia, is, I mean, it's it's bearing your soul to the rest of the world. Is that hard to do? Because I'm a daily writer. It took me almost 10 years to finally, you know, take that daily writing and share it. Yeah, it's very scary. I, I had a lot of apprehensive feelings releasing this song. I I, I honestly didn't really want to. I, I, I was really nervous and I was like, I, I don't want to put this out into the world Gizmo. Sorry, my dog was eating his own foot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, but I didn't really want to put this out there because I, I was so nervous. But then I had my surgery and I I felt, I, I don't know, I, I really hit rock bottom in my recovery. And then once you hit rock bottom, there's nowhere else to go but up. And right now I'm on the up and I'm the happiest I've like ever been I for for, like the first time ever and it feels so nice to say and I I I look back at that time in my life because I wrote this song probably a year ago and some but um it it it, it, it's it's weird to be able to look back on that and think oh I'm I'm kind of on the other side finally and so I 
I, I released it solely because I I wanted people to hopefully feel a little less alone if that's what they're going through and know that it does not last forever if you don't let it. The way that you write music and the way that you bring music forward, first of all, when a song is born, it's pen to paper, or you might have the musical instrument in front of you. When you come to a now the video is released for the world to see and we're listening and singing with a song, that vibration, what does that do for you personally as a creative? Um, oh, creating music or, Just or listening to Just the whole experience. I mean, because, I mean, because a, a lot of listeners don't understand the journey of a song. Yeah, I mean, there, it was... Interesting to create because I wanted to write a song about how I was feeling, but I did not want it to feel depressing. Right. And so I decided to write an upbeat song about how I was feeling, which was kind of funny. But uh, I mean, the songwriting process is so wonky because you create things and you think that you'll never release them. And I remember whenever, um, oh my gosh, whenever we were writing this song, you know, we were like, oh, this is, this is you know, this is a dull day. This mm -hmm. is kind of like and this is an okay song. And then whenever we were recording it, we were like, oh my God, wait, I actually love this song. So it's funny, there, there's so many songs that you write and you think it's your favorite one, but then it never sees the light of day. But then somehow, miraculously, this one made it out. <laughs> it made it out of the cutting room. And so, um, yeah, it's been about a year since I wrote it. And it's just kind of been sitting in my in my notes with like hundreds of other demos, but uh I don't know, this one felt a little bit important to release since I, I finally feel that I'm on the other side of these feelings and it's something that I feel like I can talk about. Well, <laughs> you're speaking the street in the song. That's what I love about it. You talk about TikTok. You talk about, you know, the days that you know that you, you feel a little depressed and things like that. You're, you're speaking the language that the rest of us are. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really... For me, writing music and listening to music is free therapy, so it's... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully my song can be that for someone else. Oh, McKenna, you got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, my gosh. I would be lucky to come back anytime you'll have me. Let's do it because I love talking about music, and we need to break down these songs as you release them. All right. Hey, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you so, so much. Have a good one.